The Good and the Beautiful are releasing new math boxes. Uh, this is a surprise and I'm excited to show you guys inside these boxes what these changes are all about so you can kind of see inside of it and from one homeschool mom to another um, we can kind of take a look at it together. I just received these boxes. So I've only used math one so far but we're going to do like a little first impressions. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update on you know what are the differences in these boxes why these changes are going to be made and yeah you guys can kind of take a look at it especially if you're thinking of using uh the simply good and beautiful math in the next coming year or try or thinking of placing an order i can let you know all the things in this video so guys let's see what these new boxes are all about first of all can we appreciate how beautiful these are I'm really enjoying the new kind of look. I'm enjoying that there is an actual lid here and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Magnetic, sturdy box, really cute. Seems smaller than the, you know, the wooden boxes. And I think one of the reasons that they changed it up is because they are listening to us. Um, you know, whenever you give feedback to the good and the beautiful, they will listen. So um, I think that one of the reasons why they're changing things. And let's get into the boxes. And as we go through uh, each and every box, we'll talk about the differences and why these changes are happening and just chit chat and kind of see what uh, these changes are together. One of the biggest changes that you're going to see with these new math boxes are going to be with the box itself, the manipulatives. The math boxes are going to be easier and safer to use and the shapes. And you'll notice with all the boxes, the lids are attached. They don't slide off anymore. So the lids are attached to the boxes and they're quite sturdy as well. And they're not the wooden boxes anymore. Okay, let's start off with the Math K box and show you what's in there. Okay, so you'll notice that it's very similar to the regular Math K box. It does seem a little bit more compact. It does do not have that lid. It's not wooden anymore. It is a sturdy box and it still has your counting sticks. It has these um, cubes that have the number on it that you use to play the uh, games and it'll tell you when to use these. So you're going to be able to use the same curriculum because I know probably that's what people are thinking. Um, are you gonna be able to use it the same way? Yes. Uh, they still have the little game pawns. And then instead of the actual cars, they actually have like actual game pawns and uh, one of the reasons that they changed it is uh, because they did mention that uh, the cars were a little big. So some of the, uh, I guess the feedback that they got was regarding that. And so now it's actual game ponds as well. I don't mind it. I mean, it's not a big deal for me. So that is Math K. Now let's take a look at the Math One box. I've actually already used up some of it. So let me grab the old math one box. So one of the first things you'll notice is the clock. It's not attached to the actual lid anymore. Now, as you can see, my clock is non-existent anymore. My daughter, her mission when she saw this uh, box was to actually remove the, the hands of the clock and she succeeded. You're going to have your uh, tangram pieces, which are made from like the silicone material that it helps it to be a little bit more sturdier. You still have your uh, little cube with your left and right and like a little dice here. You have your money with is made from a new material now, but it's still, you know, you still can use them. It wouldn't ask you to take out the coins. You have your little clocks just like before. And then you also have your little boat pieces. So you have everything that you need here. Great, I really like the lid. Actually, I really like these little boxes. Uh, it's a little smaller than the original math boxes. And um, so far, we have been using the Math One box. And one of the things that my son has noticed that he really, really likes is actually the Tangram pieces. He says it doesn't move around anymore because he used to get very, very frustrated with the way the Tangram pieces because they were kind of like uh, very easy to slip. And when he was like making one of his little creations, it would always like slip and uh, move his creation. And he'd be like, why is this so not sturdy? And now he really loves these tangram pieces. So that's a really good change that we really enjoy so far. Let's take a look at the level two. I'm just gonna open up all the stuff. I'll go over each of the manipulatives with you guys.
Okay, so here is how the math uh, level two box is looking. It looks pretty the same. I remember these. I've used all of the math boxes before at this point. So this does seem the same. It's still like the wooden cube with the fraction pieces. And um, <clears throat> you have the, uh, the 10 sided uh, dice. And then you also have the manipulatives. Instead of it being like those, it was like those airplanes, they were like silver ones. They actually have the game pawns now and one of the reasons why is they say that it's also more sturdy and I'll be honest with you my kids would get really distracted <laughs> with the larger car and the the actual um airplanes and stuff like that you know when toddlers are in that stage of like throwing things uh she did throw one of the airplanes those like metal ones they're kind of heavy uh, at my son's head and it, it was not like it wasn't funny <laughs> it, it hurt him so i could see it being a little bit more safer as well and um, yeah, they have the little game pawns and I feel like it's not as a, dis like they still could play with it if they wanted to, because I know my kids liked playing with the little game pieces, but it also was very distracting. The other one, it was a little bit larger. They fit the game pieces a little bit better because there's a lot of like games in the curriculum itself. So, and they also have the money. <clears throat> they still have the money. Is it different? I don't remember how the actual money looked like before. It, looked, it does look the same, like the dollar bills. And then you have your like money, uh, your actual coins, and they are a little bit different than material, but it still works. And yeah, so that is how level two is looking like. Okay, so here is the math three box. You still have this little, um, I remember with the math three, we have this little uh, like array and this little board where it has like the months of the year and the temperature. So they have this one, it seems like it's a little bit smaller but it does get the job done. So you'll see that it, all of the boxes are a little bit more compact. Um, let me open all this up. Okay, so as you can see, you have the measuring tape, which is pretty much similar. The previous measuring tape that they had in the box. You have your uh, little cubes with the measurements. You have your 10 sided and then your regular dice. You have your two game pawns, and then you also have your tangram pieces that they're a little bit more sturdier and made of that material. So it looks pretty similar, but just a bit different. The materials in um, the materials that they're using and slight differences. Personally, I really, really enjoy the look of the box. <laughs> it really goes well with the actual curriculum itself. Um, and I really do like that the lid is actually on now because I've lost the lids of my previous boxes before and then I only find them weeks later. So I really like that change. I think that's a really great change. I like how compact it is. So I really am enjoying the new boxes. Um, and I think it's a really good change. The Good and the Beautiful is a company that does listen to their, you know, their customers and we are the customers, right? Notice that the Good and the Beautiful does do that a lot. So I really do like that. Uh, now, when can you get these math boxes? So these math boxes will only start being shipped off once, you know, the old math boxes are sold out. I'm sure the Good and the Beautiful will let you know once the old ones are sold out. So let's just say you're one, you're a person that you see this and you're like, you know what? I want the old math boxes. So that would be great for you to place an order as soon as possible because those are the ones that they're going to be shipping out. And they do, um, I think, anticipate for it to sold out sooner rather than later. But if you're a person that wants the new ones, they'll be shipped only after the old ones are sold out. So make sure to check out the website and see. You can't choose which one you get. They're first going to get rid of the old boxes and then they'll start shipping out the new boxes. I hope that makes sense. This is how the new boxes are looking like. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will have a link down below so you can kind of take a look at it and it'll take you directly to the math page. It is a link where it shows the good and the beautiful. If you use my link, it'll just show the good and the beautiful that I sent you. So I'd appreciate if you could use my link um, and let me know what you think of the new boxes. To tell you the truth, I'm always good with change and I really do like the new math one. Really great positive changes. Um, I'm going to use math two next year. So I already have the box here and I am totally fine with the change. Let me know what you guys think down below.